Hi everybody, welcome to part two. We're reading Westward Expansion Review, Adventure and Death, Crossing the Great Plains. In the last video, we got through the first little half. We're gonna get through Killing and Camp. We're gonna read the questions and move on from there. So, uh, ba, 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 ba. I guess I can make this bigger for you. I'll make, oh, I can't make me smaller. Oh, I can move. What an exciting time. All right, let's just put us like right there, right in the center. Okay, so Killing in Camp, Saturday, August 5th. I'll put my over there. Sarah describes an argument over a business deal when two men in a wagon train, Frazier and Hostetter. Sarah begins describing the incident following a verbal threat from Frazier and Hostetter. So these are two men in her wagon train. Um, it was getting dark, and Frazier stood with one hand on a wheel as he talked. He then got into the wagon and out again with something in his hand. When Hassetter thought it was a revolver in the gathering darkness, he came back to the wheel where he had been standing when he made his when he made the threat. And Hassetter thought he had come to shoot him and fired twice, as he thought to save his own life. Frazier fell, shot through the brain, and died instantly. Uh, then it was found that he had a hatchet in his hand and had come to tighten a tire on the wheel, which he had found loose when he had laid his hand on it. Frazier's eldest son of 14 years is there. There are five children and their mother at home. Hostetter has three children and a wife. Eleven innocent persons to suffer. No one knows how intensely for that rash act. Frazier's son knelt beside his father's dead body, and placing his hand on his breast, he swore a fearful oath that he would have but one purpose in life until his father's death is avenged. Oh, what a shocking ambition for so young a boy. So we have Hostetter and Frazier literally killing each other over an accident. Now the son, who's 14, your age, is promising to avenge his father. So he's going to go and kill Hostetter. Sarah's diary entry a day later notes that the squad of soldiers came and took Hostetter to a fort near Green River, Wyoming, for an official trial. However, she does not reveal the outcome of that trial. So there's your source. Your questions are, I'll move me to the side again. Uh, which of the following best describes why the Great Plains were slow to be settled? How long did it take Sarah and her family to travel to Missouri from Montana? What happened to Sarah after arriving in Virginia City, Montana? In her June 12th entry, Sarah describes an Indian attack on 14 settlers. Why are there 11 graves, not 14? According to the July 6th entry, why did the two men stop their wagons? What happens to them? Why does Hostetter shoot Frazier? What was Frazier attempting to do when he was shot? Uh, continuing on your packet, there is a classical civilization decipher code I had told you earlier to put a big X through it because uh, I forgot to put the code. The code belongs right here, and I just didn't, I don't know what happened to it. It's just not there. Um, so you'll put a big X through it if you're doing it. I'm going to give you bonus points for it. All you got to do is figure out which letter is the code. So, like, the Great Wall is located in, hopefully you obviously know that answer, so you can figure out what C means, what, I just gave you what three means. <laughs> um, so you can kind of go from there. Uh, we're going to do the next video on this. So this is a reading with questions embedded. So for example, every time you see a number, that goes with the question here. Uh, this video will probably be a two-parter because it's a little bit of a longer reading. So I will see you in those videos. Bomb in the way. All right, bye.